so we're parked on that little grassy knoll back in onto the river it's really uh, quite full hi Jeanette and Phil from Wendy Way so in the last episode we left you as we just traversed over the Alps because Mont Blanc was shut it was still there as well when we saw it and we entered into France so in this episode we are going to go in search of waterfalls and boy do we find some waterfalls they just keep getting better and better we get an obstruction in the road and I did a bit of a da -da -da. what was it? how did we get round it? and Jack enjoys um, a paddle he plays poo sticks with the leaves hope you enjoy good morning as we're going across the river road yeah very So we're going for a walk in this village. No. This rain seems to be no. easing a bit now. I've seen the one waterfall, so. <laughs> Certainly have. Flippy deck. Just going to go a few miles up road. <coughs> Somewhere where we can plug in for some uh, heating. This pitch, absolutely one of the best we've been on. It's got parking places for motorhomes. All laid out. Little fences and then beyond these cabins we've got a marina where all the boats are moored up in their own space. All the way down there, that little harbour, and off the road. Those were those <laughs> cabins come double height tents, we've got a ladder going up to the top like you get on when you pitch up on top of them vehicles um, and then they've got an entrance at the bottom and they're off the floor so I suppose you just bring your own sleeping bag maybe cycle route which is different from the one in track up at the top of the site and then finally I mean, it might go on forever. They've got a playground for the kids, little picnic benches that are covered so you get shelter in the summer and so you get shelter in the rain if you feel that way inclined. Big field for dog to walk in. So we're going to do some dog walking. It's really cool. And you've got rocks for cats to jump on. <laughs> you enjoying it? Good boy. You can still do it. Even though you've eaten too much food last night. Last time I leave a dish down overnight, it's emptied a lot, haven't you? Morning. So we've stopped there for a couple of nights. Might even come back tonight. When I say there, I mean, oops, I mean yeah. the marina here. So there were two clues there on the sat nav. It said Ruda Mulan is a mill which suggests water running. Turn left onto Shumadan and Moors. And then onto Rue de Cascade which suggests a waterfall. However we couldn't go that way, it was too small so we're going this way. So when people keep saying why do you keep saying vous et ici? Because in French it's we are here. Geographical features. 
out in the rain and get yourself all dried up. Yeah, you're a good boy. So it's not all sunshine and roses in a van. We've got rain bouncing off the floor out there. Oh, stepped on your own here, didn't you, at the back? Yeah, a bit of peace and quiet for a change. It's nice to sleep separately now and again. The young cats didn't bother me that much. No, Because I, I was tossing and turning that much, they couldn't settle. <laughs> they couldn't so they sleep with you. <laughs> but not on their own, though. Man, you, I could still feel you tossing and turning at front. Oh, I could feel you moving about at the back. Right. Perhaps we need separate uh, vehicles. <laughs> no, no. It's called marriage, putting up with uh, mm. yeah. that type of thing. Mm. So what are we doing today then, Smith? I think we're going to see some waterfalls, aren't we? Well, I think we're going to see one waterfall and we're going into a village and then we've got to find somewhere to sleep for tonight. We've got to go and do the water, the loo, wastewater. That's just normal stuff. But we need the supermarket. There's one, there's one more important yeah, thing. Yeah, we need than some tea bags. All of that. Tea, tea bags. bags. We've no tea bags. How can you let us run out of tea bags? Don't let us You're the woman who does the shopping. I'll get the tea bags. Can't get any decaffeinated ones. That's fine, we'll just have the normal ones. Right, okay. So we run out. Where have you put the tea bags, Phil? Same place as I put the kids that the. Uh, we looked everywhere. The kids? I put it the same place as our new kids' toys. <laughs> yeah. I can't find them. We bought Jack a new electronic mouse. But can we find it. it? Put it in a bag, but then it escaped out the bag. It didn't even have batteries, I don't know how it did that. What? Service is done. What? Service is done. Nearly. In the rain. Nearly. Ready for all. Do you need anything? No. Okay. Done. You done? I'm done. Good. I can go now. Right. Let's go. So, we're coming down this little road that's 2.2 wide, and so we're risking it, and we're ending up with a tree falling over, so we're stuck anyway, and we're going to wait and see what happens now. So, the tree's come down, and nobody can move it with the chainsaw. Can't even drag it out of the way. Pretty efficiency. Did take long to get here with the chainsaw. My wife just swore because this bridge is wood. I don't, know, I don't mind it 2.2 metre wide. It's water fucking rain, but gosh, how big does he think I am? <laughs> Get out of your way, isn't it? He must be scared of women driving. He went straight over it. It was the wooden bridge. Well, we have a cup of tea. Oh, a cup of tea. Because we've got some tea bags. Yeah. We can watch the river rise and burst its banks. Okay. And uh, we're going to go up and have a look at a probably very cascading cascade. Yeah. Up, up there. Jack would love it up there. Look at that. What's that Looks like Jack going to cascade. Okay, let's catch them up. 
Oh, there's a river. Mickey's not sure how to get over it. Good oh, boys. You can see why we didn't bring the cats up this bit because the water is in such flood that the path's somewhere underneath the uh, water. So we only have this narrow little bit and I'm hanging on to the narrow ones as I film. So we found the path to the waterfall, but the path has actually turned into a river to the waterfall. Through the woods. And my boots, I'm not impressed with them, they're just a bit slippy. And um, silly me because I've got my sticks. But Jack is loving it. He keeps putting his paws in water and chasing leaves. He's like, he's almost camouflaged, is he? When you look at him, so yeah. You, you can only see it because of his collar. Mm. Yeah. So we're going down here to find a gourd. 15 minute walk. What do you want me to video? That moss. Oh yeah. Hanging off the tree. Look like deer's antlers, don't they? Mm. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's not till you look back up that you can actually see the rain. I didn't realise it was raining. So Jack's decided to walk right through the middle of the river. Um, and here's me worrying about how he's gonna get across it. He's not fucking bothered. There's lots of improvement. Yeah, the problem is all the way across. We're gonna jump the cross going good. So for anybody watching, this is not cruel to make Jack uh, traverse these little rivers and whatnot. It's teaching him to use his own survival skills of what he would use if he was out in the wild. Uh, in a very safe manner so it's good to give him problems to solve and get him to use his brain and so he doesn't get bored because he gets bored very easily uh, so it's a good for him and he's enjoying it <laughs> and you c we can tell because your tail's up isn't it yes your tail's up and you keep coming no. for a little bits of reassurance no. and... it's definitely something oh yeah Wow, look how green that river is. We're waiting here a minute, Mickey, all right? This walk, it's just getting better, isn't it? I've never seen such moss. Oh, we've got some trolls as well in the wood. For anybody who's not seen frozen. Good boy. So this moss, it's just beautiful when you look at it close up. Little bits of water dripping off. Have we got one of these pictures? Yeah. With the rain dropping off the. I predict this is going to be something wow down here. This is lots of rocks, and all this water's got to channel its way through it now. Oh!
river is now falling into the canal or gorge. It's like something out of Disney, isn't it? And it's carving the uh, carving the rock out as it burns. So here, just a little bit further over, we've got a disused one. So either something's blocking this a bit further up, or the um, summit's made the, the river choose a different course. And you can see some of the old like, pools where it might have. Uh, would it have been as, as it would have been higher, wouldn't it, the river at one point, yeah, and then yeah. it's gorged its way yeah. out. These, the pearls, yeah. it's made pearls, it's and it's made pearls. like circular pools. You can see a, a really good one there. Yeah. And then it will have worn this softer rock down, yeah. Well, they've worn the um, yeah, softer, so it might have been fractured or fractured, so right. it's and got then into worn the it fractures away. And, yeah. 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 Do these look like footprints to you, or what? Just put your foot in that one you said. Is it, is it? Yeah. It just fits perfectly. It does. It's as if it was a beach it's at the side of this. Proper right, right foot. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go back. And somebody can't manage it all the way, can you? You're like a baby. And you're having a wash, weren't you? Look at you. Oh. Right, let's find our way back up the track. So we're filled up, we've got our tank full, we've got our gas full, water's more or less full. Got your bananas. Got your bananas, you've got your energy food, get your foot down. Yep. Just making my way up this uh, zigzaggy route up this mountain. I thought we were going to the middle of nowhere, but apparently there's an air. Right, so let's have a look at the map. So we leave Amy in um, when we'd first come into France. We then go north around this area, round Annecy, through Rumilly, and we go up to Cecil. We have two nights in Cecil. We then come down this road to the marina, um, and we have two nights here. And then we head back past Belly, up the road that we've just come from, and we have two more nights in Cecil. So that's the end of October and beginning of November. And then after that, we head up north, around here, past Oyonnax, and we go up towards Arinthod. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We certainly did. We are going next week to look at more waterfalls. We have to rescue a cat. It's quite a, an adventure. And we have a final attempt. Well, Phil does. He has a final attempt at capturing a glimpse of the kingfishers. Till then, enjoy your week. Bye.